the case of the missing fundamental. Why do the spectra of the C2 on the Kanabi and the Steinway have such a weak fundamental? In the previous U2 video, I compared the C2 note and I noticed that the fundamental here and here on both pianos was not well represented power-wise. However, the harmonics were all set up based on that fundamental. And it also gave a sound strongly in the fundamental area. So let's see why that might be the case. This occurs on other notes too. For example, here's the C1. Here's the fundamental down here. Again, not strongly represented, but the harmonics based on that fundamental are all there. And then we can see that it doesn't always occur. Here's a C5 on the same piano. Here's the fundamental of about 527 hertz. And there are the harmonics. And you notice that the, the fundamental is strongly represented here. And also notice that the higher harmonics are weighted relatively inversely to their harmonic number, which we'll see is the recommended way that Arthur Bernard uses. Okay, let's go take a look at a simulation and see if we can get some insight here. We're going to take a look at a signal having 70 hertz, and it's similar to the C2 sharp. In, in terms of its frequency. I'm going to play it for you, but a fundamental by itself. You might not have been able to hear that with your computer, because my computer, for example, doesn't play that note well at all. Now let's play the second harmonic. Third harmonic. So far, all the way out to the seventh harmonic divided by seven. And you can see that the, the note that I played sounds like the fundamental. And it's got a lot of good strength. Now let's do the same thing, except let's not play the fundamental. But we'll just play the second harmonic, third, and so forth, without the fundamental. In other words, we played the second harmonic divided by two, and so forth, all the way out to the seventh harmonic divided by seven. And it gave us a sound like the fundamental, which in fact was missing. Now let's do some simulations to see if we can get some more insight. That was the second harmonic divided by two. And of course you notice it does not have a sound similar to the fundamental. Now let's add to that second harmonic the third harmonic divided by three. black line, the black curve is the second harmonic divided by two. The green curve is the third harmonic divided by three. The blue curve is the sum. And you can see that the blue curve comes over here and starts to repeat itself at 14.3 milliseconds, which is the period of the fundamental. Even though the fundamental is not there, we've got a signal that has a basic period equal to that of the fundamental. Now let's add the fourth harmonic. Okay, we added the fourth harmonic, which is the red curve. So we add, it's divided by five. And the green curve is the sum of those three signals, the second, third, and fourth harmonic. And you can see that it repeats itself again, starting at 14.3 milliseconds, and again over here at about 28 seconds. And it has a sound uh, equal to that of the fundamental. We'll add the fifth now. Okay, there's the addition of the fifth.
fifth, which is this magenta curve or maybe pink curve. And the green curve is the sum, which again repeats itself at the at 14.3 milliseconds, the period of the fundamental. Now let's look at the sum of the curves. Okay, here, here is the fundamental, the blue line, the blue curve. The green curve is the sum of the harmonic, the, the harmonic sum of the fundamental and all its harmonics up to seven. And you can see it comes down and it repeats itself at 14.3 milliseconds, just like the fundamental does, the blue curve. The red curve is the sum of the second through seventh harmonics, and you can see it has a different shape, but it does repeat itself at the same point as the fundamental. So that suggests that even though the fundamental isn't there, this, this particular sound train, is, wave train, is going to sound like the fundamental. So, we can summarize by saying that the spectral pattern of the fundamental plus its harmonics generates a signal with a basic period equal to that of the fundamental. If the fundamental harmonic is removed, the remaining harmonics still have a frequency domain spacing that generates a signal with a basic period equal to that of the missing fundamental.